Do you want to do your hair before we do this? Oh, that's funny. Who did your hair today, Joseph? Birds! It's G with G! Well, well, hello, absolutely everybody. Welcome, and thank you for joining me today for tea with G or quarantine tea with G, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yes. For those of you wasting away at home day after day, destitute at having gone this long without our meeting, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Georgina Grace, or G, should you please, a premier educator in the field of social engagement. And it is my pleasure to be taking tea with you in these trying times. Like Mummy always said, there's nothing that can't be solved by a good old-fashioned cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> Today, we are savouring the delectable aroma of freshly brewed Earl Grey, a classic and one of my personal favourites. Now, as you are probably aware, my critically acclaimed etiquette class is currently on hiatus. That's Latin for pause. Until such time as I can guarantee my own safety and the safety of my students. But no matter, <laughs> we shall make do, shan't we? Though I must say I was, at first, hesitant about creating web content. I arrived at the conclusion that a society deprived of my teachings was a society bereft. So here we are. As we begin the gradual reintroduction of social norms, leaving the house and so on, I thought it best to offer a refresher on some key elements of public presentation. From what I have observed, the overall standard has become somewhat lax. Now, I recommend having a pen and paper handy, as the calibre of my instruction is unique, and you will want to take notes. So let's begin! We'll start with an easy one, apparel. You may recall that in order to function successfully in modern society, it is expected that one should don appropriate attire. That means clothes. Yes, I'm afraid it's time to abandon the house coat and lounge wear in favor of more traditional garb. This includes reacquainting oneself with undergarments. Just because your furniture is now familiar with the sight of your unsheathed plums does not mean the post office will be. Next up, posture. If you wish to be viewed as anything other than a troglodyte, remember to sit up straight. Slouching makes the very clear statement, I live alone and will die alone. A straightforward solution is to equip a friend or loved one with a cane, that means stick, instructing them to administer a quick snap to the spine on occasions of hunching. That's how they did it in my day. This exercise also lends itself well to after hours activities. Thirdly, when in company, remember to breathe as though others can hear you. Because I assure you, they can. <laughs> What's that? A pug with a sinus infection. Oh no, that's just Marcus. End of friendship. Better luck next time, Marcus. And lastly, making conversation. My two key pieces of advice here are to think before you speak and to resist the urge to overshare. For example, if someone asks how you spent your time in isolation, it may be best not to divulge that much of the day was lost to examining your private parts. Keep it light. Perhaps if you did pay extra attention to the topiary of your front bottom, you could instead offer, I discovered a new passion for gardening. Time flies when one's having fun. <laughs> Aren't we having fun, Joseph? Uh, yes, I'm having fun. Oh, shut up. Now, I know some of you may be struggling with all the uncertainty these days, but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, please do remember, 
no one wants to hear about it. Chin up. And don't forget, the virus is real. Your Uncle Kevin is not smarter than a scientist. And you are the rule, not the exception. So wear a fucking mask. Well, I must be off, but I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to having tea with you again next week. To keep abreast of all things G, please do remember to subscribe, and you can recommend my videos to your friends and colleagues. We all must start somewhere, and what better place than a tasty tea time etiquette session with G, that's me. It's so clunky, Joseph. Listen, listen to how clunky it is. I told you, fine china. How's anybody going to take me seriously if I have to drink out of this builder's mug? I'm quite distraught. How's the light on? You're getting everything? Shiny? It, it's a bit shiny. Is that okay? Well, Joseph, in, in times like these, it's it, it, priorities. Priorities, Joseph. It's most important to maintain a sense of perspective. And shiny, while not desirable is certainly